Hey church family, I've got another update video to give you guys today. Our renovation crew has been working so hard and I want to show you what things look like right now. So let's open up this door. Ready for the wow factor? Wow. This is our new lobby completely opened up in the way that it is going to be. You can see They've had to install some really strong headers up here to give us the structural support to open this space up, but it is absolutely huge, gorgeous, and amazing. Um, they've been working, working, working hard. We still, you can see the old radiators are still on the floor. Those are gonna come out. I'll show you upstairs actually all the new, um, all the new uh, duct things, all the new, um, HVAC units are in, but this is our new lobby area and it's amazing. It's so gorgeous. The ceilings are incredibly high and that's going to be such a beautiful wow welcome factor um, as people come into our church during the week or on a Sunday morning. Absolutely amazing. I want to show you over here where they've already started gutting underneath the sanctuary as well. This is going to be where our, all our offices are offices and meeting rooms. And so they're starting to open this up. Holy cow. It is so cool. There's going to be a little um, break room, hospitality pantry for down here. Um, and they're getting going on uh, that because that's going to need to be plumbed. This wall is already down. This is where our uh, program team has been. This is where it's sort of their offices, the construction folks. But they took down this wall already. This is gonna be our new boardroom, um, meeting room, and just phenomenal. We're starting to see how, um, again, these tall ceilings are wild for a basement. Um, so how big, open, light, and bright this um, area is gonna ultimately be um, as they've opened it up. And then this is, again, walking out of the office wing into, boom, huge lobby is just going to be unreal. It already is. Of course, you know, you can see all the construction work around, but oh my gosh, this is amazing. And again, over here is where the new elevator is going to be right in the lobby. So it's going to be so welcoming to have folks be able to see the bathrooms, the elevator, the stairs, uh, right as soon as people walk into our church. Just no, um, no confusion, no maze, everything open, clean, and clear. So let me show you, I'm gonna take you back now to where they've been doing a lot of work on the kids area, the daycare zone, the kids ministry zone, all of it back here. You guys saw this last time, but they're continuing to do a ton of work and uh, things are coming in. That looks like, that's a Fujitsu box, so that looks like it's probably HVAC related, which is awesome. And here you can see all this steel has gone in for framing out these little bathrooms. The floors, again, we're keeping, but a ton of work back here on this space. It's so open, so awesome. And actually, one of the newer things that they just did recently is they were able to remove the post that was in the middle of this classroom. And now, oh man, do you guys remember this file cabinet? It's still here. No, it's, now it's being used to house some other things, but <laughs> that's funny. Uh, but up here, you can see this huge header, a lot of structural work being done. This all went in so that they could open this classroom up since that was a structural wall and uh, remove the wall there. So this is a beautiful open area. I'm gonna take you over here now to just see this part. They've removed two of the windows. Those have to be removed because a lot of electrical is gonna be going in that far room there. Uh, but we can put some plants and stuff in front of those areas that are former windows. But this has all been opened up. I'm gonna show you over here. They had to do a lot of work and I'll show you again on the um, upstairs, but of course this is to be expected. When they opened up these walls, they found a lot of water damage. Um, 
in this area. So they've done a lot of kind of repair work up here in the corner. And ooh, something's going. All right, let's come back out over here. I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you what's been going on upstairs in that area. Again, we're coming out this doorway will remain. This is the other way out into the lobby. I just can't get enough of this huge open lobby. It is absolutely amazing. Just so beautiful. And again, those high ceilings are unbelievable. We're really blessed with that in our church. All right, let's go upstairs here now. And I want to show you. Whoa, here's some boxes. What are these boxes you say? Well, again, this is what I was telling you all about. This is the entire HVAC unit, all electric HVAC units. They've been delivered. It's all here. This is hundreds of thousands of dollars of HVAC um, stuff. <laughs> and so that's what we're looking at right there. They are going to be installed soon, which is great because when you all come to annual meeting, you can see what the oil bills have been like this year, and it's going to be awesome to get off oil. So let's go over here, and this is another area. I'm going to carefully walk down here. This is this big open room that we've created. This is sort of our, our craft room, our work room, our project room, the place where hands-on ministries can happen. And again, I'm gonna show you over here, they've actually done a lot of work in this area because they had to rebuild sort of this entire corner from here at the roof all the way down because it was completely water damaged. You can see some of that there. So those kinds of things are happening, but this is what's so cool about this room. Remember last time on the video, I showed you there was those stairs that went up and down. Those stairs are gone. This is now the level entrance and exit which you know completely handicap accessible this is how people and you can see where the door is look how high it is it's so funny but this is now completely accessible how whoa how you're gonna go in and out of this craft room so the floor has been leveled um, so that people will be walking through here all the way down hello i'm just walking into the craft room you can see this is where the floor level used to be it was way raised up there's that door this was all this like up and down and now it's completely level completely handicap accessible walking into the craft room connecting the height of the floors love this room this is like one of those rooms i'm like secretly i wasn't really you know that excited about it before but now that it's here it's like wow that's going to be such a cool room all right and then let's go down here to see this area again that's all the hvac stuff for lack of a better word maybe that's the technical term, according to Pastor Anna, the HVAC stuff. All right. And then let's see if I can get in. Yeah. As you remember, here's our sanctuary. Let's check in on project number two. Unrelated to our renovation team, we have been working to fix the roof. And that work has been progressing can see the scaffolding is still in there, but they have been working, 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 working to get this jacked up. You can actually hear them up there right now. I'm not gonna bug them because that's kind of more of a dangerous zone that I don't wanna go into, but they're working to raise that beam. And hopefully that'll be done soon. So that's our little update. 
today what's been going oh wait no i've got to show you something else i almost forgot let's go outside so i want to show you a big thing that happened as you guys know this is a meat and potatoes renovation in that the the most expensive by a landslide parts of this renovation are all the mechanical systems all the like hard construction kind of things um, and one of that is our electrical system which needed a new service from the grid which is extremely expensive and also cumbersome to schedule well guess what folks it's all done i want to show you right now this was all dug up on this side if you guys were out you saw a lot of people digging this whole trench all the way out to the street they were digging 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 and now boom there it is that's our new electrical service it's done it's huge that's a huge 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 component eversource had to be involved in that those are concrete pipes that are casing an enormous amount of electricity i know that this is not exciting to look at folks but a lot of this renovation project is like that <laughs> It's not about, as uh, some people in our team call, it's not about the Martha Stewart aspects of this project. This is what it's about. This is an enormous amount of money and an enormous amount of um, coordination to get Eversource, which is a monopoly of, of sorts, um, to actually get this work done is no easy feat and it's done. That's one of the things that could have really delayed our project and it's done, done, done. Holy cow, that's exciting. So look at that new electrical service and that's gonna be feeding right into this wing. That's why we took these windows out. That's our new electric room. Wow, so exciting. All of that's been done and we are good to go. So let's just take another look. Ooh, we're coming in from this side as people will be coming in. Wow, here's that lobby, holy smokes. It's gonna be great, folks. Can't wait to have a cup of coffee with you in this lobby someday, very soon. And this is one of the things, oh gosh, you know, you start thinking about what are we gonna do? Imagine big old Christmas tree, boom, right in the center of this lobby around Christmas time. It's gonna be beautiful. All right, well, that's our update for this week. I'll be coming back to you guys with another update next week. Take care.